what's going on people today is more overcast than i would like it to be hopefully you can hear me i'm speaking through the mask just making sure that i'm being safe just in case anybody's around i want to make sure nobody gets sick i don't get sick so i gotta make sure i have my mask i was tagged in melanie's uh, quarantine challenge so i wanted to be able to answer those questions try to kind of match up I came outside so you can see some background, see some sky or something like that. I didn't want to just be sitting home. It's, it's, it's beautiful scenery. Like I said, again, it's just an overcast day. But let me get into the 10 questions. No, 17, I think it was. 17 questions that she had for the quarantine challenge. And I'm responding to it. This is my video. Also, I had to make sure I put on my gloves just in case I'm out here. I'm out here looking like, looking like a nurse or a surgeon or something like that. But yeah, you got to have the PPE just in case. Let me get into this first question. If I'm being honest about what I miss, what I wish I would have did before this happened, I think maybe call people more, you know, reach out just a little bit more, just to take time out, just to give people a little bit more of my time than I normally have. Sometimes you get caught up in work, you know, the whole work-life balance. Sometimes work overtakes things. Sometimes we take, you know, um, our responsibility so serious that we forget that you gotta laugh a little, you gotta love a little. And I think that's what I, I, one of the things that I miss, that I wish I would have did. You know, I miss just talking to people, hanging out with folks, being around friends, people that really care about you and stuff like that. So I think that's one of those things that I wish I would just gave people more of my time, the people that deserve it, of course. First thing I'm gonna do, I mean, I wanna go to the movies, but you know, honestly, I have some friends and families to hang out with, family members saying I wanna hang out. I just wanna be around those people that I care about. That's the first thing that I wanna do when this is all over, when this is said and done. I just wanna be around those folks that, you know, just enjoy being around me. So when I get the chance, any of you out there that know me personally, you know, definitely hit me up and contact me and we'll get the link going about that. If I had to think about the hardest part about social distancing, and I'm being honest, and I had to think about this one. I thought about all the questions, but I definitely had to stop and think about this one. I think it's the prejudices that come with what, how people look at you, the fear. The fear involved, you know, all of a sudden now, the human interaction changes. It's, it's, not, it's not normal. We are creatures of, of communication, creatures of habit. It's, it's challenging changing up the nature of how we communicate with each other, you know, social distancing and whatnot. And, and it, can, it can get tricky. You know, like I said, it's a tricky question to answer. Hopefully I answered it well. So, next question. If I had to describe my mood in one word, that's a simple one. Anybody that knows me is hopeful. Spotify or Netflix? <laughs> to be honest with you, I, I I don't I don't have Spotify, but it's it's Netflix all day. I'm subscribed to them for a whole bunch of years. I wish they would uh, bring the price down on their monthly subscription fee, but that's another story altogether. The last tune I played on my phone. That's actually pretty simple. I was watching The Good, The Bad, The Ugly a couple of days ago, and the song that stuck in my head actually is on my phone. It's The Ecstasy of Gold uh, from The Good, The Bad, The Ugly soundtrack. You know, with Clint Eastwood. Uh, dope song, you know, very great score. One of the best scores, I think, in uh, cinematic movie history, you know, whatever you say. Ecstasy of Gold, check that out. The last show that I actually watched, I remember that. It's kind of crazy. I was on ESPN. I'm watching the documentary, the 10 part series, The Last Dance on the 90, 1998 Chicago Bulls. A great series, whether you're a basketball fan or not. I definitely implore you. I implore you to check that out. The Last Dance on ESPN 10 part series. I think they're on uh, 
episode five and six now, if I'm not mistaken. You know? Yeah, so for this next question, you want to know if I have a quarantine ritual? Honestly, to be truthful with you, only ritual I can think about that I have during the quarantine is maybe I'm waking up a little bit later than usual. <laughs> That's about it. My thoughts on legging a, a sweatpants are this, you know, when, you know, when you're asking that question. I mean, I could pull off either one. More specifically, I, I go for sweatpants over leggings. I don't wear leggings. So maybe if I was a professional wrestler or something like that, I could see it. Uh, for any men that's answering this question that I tag in this challenge, yeah, I'm going to tag some people over there. I encourage you to change out leggings or like pants regular dress pants or regular pants versus sweats, you know, which one you can like. But for the sake of this question, I got to go with So, this is an interesting question. Um, is there anything that I want to see during this quarantine? Yes, there is. I actually want to get my health together, you know. Maybe I could go run around jumping and doing stuff crazy. But yeah, I like to get my health in order, lose a couple more pounds, you know, get myself right, make sure, you know, I'm not doing anything crazy as far as that goes, you know, diabetic or high blood pressure or anything like that. Yeah, just to get my health in order. Ah. Oh. When it comes to quarantine snacks, whether it was quarantine or not, one of the healthiest things for me, I had to eat a little Debbie cake alone because you know, that can get a little crazy. But the best thing that I've been having during this quarantine are orange. Yeah, anybody that knows me knows, loves the orange. So that's a, a quarantine snack. And as a replacement for those, I've been tangerines, but I prefer oranges. The nice juicy ones. Maybe Florida oranges. What scares me the most? Um, the stupidity of people, you know, the actions of people to, you know, I guess do volunteer ignorance. It's scary. Am I reading? And if I'm reading, what is the last what is the chapter am I on? I don't really remember. The last thing that I was reading is a couple of books that I was reading. I was reading a book on poetry, the poetry writing. Uh, I've been reading newspaper articles. So it's not just one book, one particular thing that I can't pinpoint. I should have a book. I could make something up, but I didn't want to make something up for the sake of this video. So yeah, I'm reading, but it's mostly news articles. It's mostly research stuff, stuff like that. You know, The last thing I read, if I'm being honest, was a, as an article about um, stimulus, you know, stimulus packages and whether or not they were going to have another round of stimulus, you know. So I've been reading mainly newspaper articles or, or online news articles. That's it. Sorry. The last person I spoke to is my homeboy, Steven. No, no, I'm, I'm lying. It's not Steven. I spoke to Steven before I spoke to Chris. I spoke to one of my longtime friends, Chris. He had called me. We did some catching up, so that kind of alludes to some of the, the first questions that I was exclusively answering. So yeah, you know, make sure you check your people out. Just because it's a quarantine doesn't mean you can't call folks. Works both ways. What is the one non-tech thing that I can't live without during this whole process? I've learned that the one non-tech thing that I can't live without, and this may surprise you, is communication, talking to people. Having conversations that matter. Where's my battery level at? Last check, 65, 65. I came out here in the 60s, so like I made sure I was like at almost 60, 70 or something like that. So I think I only use 1% for this whole video, 1%, 2% battery life. But I'm at 65, baby, I'm, I'm going strong. Like, like Melanie was saying in her video, I try not to, you know, fret and worry about my, you know, my battery life and whatnot. But 
that's what the question was that's where we at 65 baby 65 65 ha 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 stay alive silver line into this this whole situation i think it, it it forces us to actually look at what's important to take stock of those people that we love to really cherish you know those that matter most to understand that life is so precious you know it could be here one minute and on the next you know and it's not just a, a, an age thing or this one is too old this one is too young it's to understand that you know life is so precious and you know we we think we have time to do things and you realize that you may not but it's so much more to do if we do live another day i guess the silver lining is understanding what's valuable what's precious to understand that there's so much we still can do you know uh buying that we're, we're back, safe back, and everything back, like that back, so back, back, back. i think the silver lining is for me that you know like i said there's still so much more to do there's still so much more that's precious that's valuable there's so much stuff that we take for granted that we have and like i said this is probably the longest answer because my mother asked me about this and i was saying that in, in a historical context we, we definitely don't have it as bad as other folks have had it in, in, in the confines of history. Uh, you know, 1918, the Spanish flu, the Great Depression in the 1930s. So we, we definitely have a lot to, to um, be thankful for. You know, hopefully that answered. Hopefully that wasn't too long on Monday. But as we get to the end of the video just the end of the video my favorite part now now it's gonna be the people that i call out and i called out a couple of people let's see if all you folks actually answer the challenge to my to my uh request to that tag in this video let me see i, I got my list i tagged cheryl james winston, winston <laughs> james wilson calvin's quarter 72 papa texas crimson fantasy Random Life Production, Pixie's Channel, Mrs. C's Mukbangs, Rebel Stay Sovereign, The Grim Reaper, I know you folks are out there, Spice Life TV, you know, and I think that's it for right now. Uh, if you can, if you can do the challenge, I understand, if, you, if you're shy, you don't want to do it, I understand that too, no pressure, I just try to put it out there, just something that, you know, it's fun to do. A little challenge video it doesn't have to be as elaborate as mine anything you can sit in front of a, a background or not show your face or not do it at all it's all good i still still love you you know i won't hold it against you still want you to be safe throughout this quarantine and i thank everybody for watching this you know and thank you melanie for tagging me in this video hopefully this video wasn't too elaborate um i appreciate it man silver lining to it you know i guess there's a silver lining to this video you know, uh, silver lining to the whole thing is that we got a chance to do this video and communicate and connect with each other. And you know how that goes. But I appreciate you folks. Um, be true to God, be true to others, be true to yourself. Take care. I'll tell you this, sure enough, don't feel like no spring day out here. <laughs> Man, listen.